In this short video, we're gonna take a look at how easy it is to create a professional online survey. Whether you're wanting to learn how aware people are of your brand, you're wanting to obtain feedback from your employees, or you're wanting assessment on a product you release. Maybe you just want a simple customer feedback survey. Whatever the use case, you will learn how easy it is to create an online survey using the platform Paperform. So, from our browser, let's Google search Paperform. Or, alternatively, we could type into the address bar paperform.co and hit enter. Creating a Paperform account is easy and even better, they offer a 14 day free trial period. No credit card details are needed. Type in your email and click get started. Now that you've successfully created your very own Paperform account, it's time for us to begin building our online survey. You would have arrived in your paper form dashboard and from here, we're gonna click create form. Now, we're going to need to name our form. I'm gonna name mine survey. We've got the option to start this building process from scratch, meaning with a blank canvas, or use one of those beautifully designed templates that paper form offers. I suggest using a template as it will allow you to better understand the features and functionality of the platform. In this search bar, we can type what we're looking for. Maybe simply survey, but personally, I wanna create a simple customer feedback survey. So I'll type customer feedback. If we click on the options, then it'll show us a preview in the window here. I'm looking for something a bit more simple. How about this? Hmm, no. I don't like that. Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna click use. Now that we've selected a template, it's time to begin editing. We can see here that we've got some text within our survey. The heading, customer survey, and the text that lay below. We can simply click and edit that text. If we highlight, we'll see the text option bar appear above. This is how we'll change the appearance, and the placement, as well as the ability to hyperlink our text. If we want to add new text, simply click in a blank space and begin typing. Now, let's take a look at our question fields. Paperform offers over 20 different question field types. If we'd like to change the type of question field, we simply click on the drop down menu and make a selection. To change the title, click in this area and do as you please. We can also include a question description. We can change the placement of a particular question field by clicking on this icon, dragging and dropping. We also have the ability to duplicate a question field. And if we'd like to remove a question field, we'll click the X icon. If we click on the gear icon, we'll enter the configuration settings for that particular question field. How would you rate your overall experience? This is a scale type question. And we can see here, we've got options one through to 10. If we scroll down, we can see that this is how it will appear on the front end. And as stated in our description, one being extremely poor, therefore 10 being extremely good. Okay, we've taken a quick look at the text and the question fields within our survey. What about other elements? If we click in a blank space, we'll see a menu appear on the left-hand side. From here, we have the ability to add a question, add a break, add an image, add a video, and for our agency users, the ability to add HTML. Let's take a quick look at breaks. If I select the icon and add a break, we can see a blue line appears. What this is doing is quite literally breaking up our survey. Everything that appears above the blue line will be on page one, while everything below will be on page two. Now let's scroll up and take a look at our main navigation menu. If you ever wanna to return to the dashboard, simply click on this button. The design tab is where we're able to edit the elements, our question fields and text. Clicking on configure and details will allow us to edit our title, 
our description, add a cover image to our survey, and for our pro and agency users, the ability to customize the URL. You also have the ability to connect a payment gateway and connect your analytics accounts. Entering form behavior will allow us to configure when our form is visible, the maximum number of submissions, as well as when we want the survey to close. Scrolling down, we'll quickly take a look at the scoring feature. This feature will allow us to determine a value for each response. Now, let's move on up to after submission. We're gonna click the after submission tab and then emails. From here, we can configure an automatic after submission email that will be triggered to send upon completion of the survey. Success pages and redirects will allow you to configure the page that the submitter will see once they've completed the survey. You also have the ability to create custom PDFs and integrations and webhooks will allow you to connect your survey to secondary platforms. Sharing the survey is easy. Simply click the share tab and from here we can collect the URL link that we'll share with those we want to submit. We also have the ability to embed our survey using an inline full screen or pop-up method. Now, let's take a look at personalizing the survey to better portray your personality. Clicking on that water drop icon in the top right will allow us to enter the theme settings. Here as well, we'll configure the look, feel and appearance of our survey. We also have the ability to change the look and feel of our fonts and text. From the UI elements, we can change a background image as well as how our questions and buttons appear. You even have the ability to translate your survey. Jumping back into the editor, if you'd ever like to look at how the survey appears in the live mode, simply click on that eye icon. If you'd ever like assistance during your creation process, you can reach out to one of our support members by clicking on the blue chat widget icon. Or maybe you're confident that you are able to resolve the issue yourself. Simply click on the Help Center where you are able to take a look at a vast amount of articles specifically created to help you in this creation process. Before I leave you, let's quickly jump into our dashboard and take a look at how the submissions and reporting will appear. From here, we can see the survey I've just created has one submission. All you need to do is to click on this and you'll be taken to the submissions dashboard. From here, you're able to view each survey submission individually. You also have the ability to export a submission summary as a PDF file or as a Word file. And you can collectively export all submissions for that particular survey as a CSV file by clicking the export icon. From the submissions dashboard, you also have the ability to look at partial submissions, paper form reporting, and paper forms custom analytics. Now it's time for you to start creating your very own online survey. If this video has been helpful, make sure you click that subscribe button and the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see any other content, be sure to drop a comment below. Good luck and happy formmaking.